There are so many different things you can do with rabbit. You can add all different herbs and spices and sauces, and there's different ways you can cook rabbit as well. But today I'm going to show you a very simple slow cooked recipe for wild rabbit. I'm Elisa and welcome to Moat Cottage Homesteading, the small space homesteading channel. In a cast iron pan, I'm browning some onion. I'm using frozen onion that I froze ages ago. And what I do is I put it straight in the pan with no butter and I let some of that steam, like the moisture steam out because I don't want to be boiling the onion. Once it's steamed out and it's dry enough, I then add the butter and coat the onion with the butter. We're doing this at a fairly low temperature. We don't want it to burn. We want it to brown nicely, so we just go low and slow. In the slow cooker, I've got some bone broth that I also had frozen, and that's defrosting on low. Add your onion into the bone broth, and while that's melting, collect some herbs. In this recipe today, I'll be using rosemary, thyme, and marjoram. Other suitable herbs to use would be bay leaf, sage, parsley, and even basil would be good. So choose whatever's in season or what you like. Once your bone broth is warmed up, then you can add in your rabbit. They're just so beautiful and lean. I don't know why more people don't eat rabbit. Just pop that in the pot and add in your herbs. In Australia, we have rabbits bouncing around in all the paddocks everywhere, and we're poisoning them and giving them diseases and viruses so that we can eradicate them, which never really happens. But we make them sick, and it's free food bouncing around in the paddocks, and they're really easy to catch because there's so many. And I just think more people should be eating rabbit. When I moved to the country when I was 21, I'd been vegetarian my whole life, pretty much. I'd grown up vegetarian because I didn't like meat. And it wasn't that I didn't like meat, I didn't know how to cook meat. Obviously I was a child and I grew up in a family where they cooked meat really well and I'm a medium rare girl it turns out. So when I moved to the country I was vegetarian, there's rabbits bouncing around everywhere and I would hunt rabbits every day because we were trying to help clear the land and there's free food everywhere and that's what was dog food. So we would catch rabbits. Once you got three rabbits a night, that would be it. That's enough for one night, because it was a big dog. And I wouldn't have thought, obviously of being vegetarian, it wasn't even in my mind to eat rabbit. And the people I was living with, that they wouldn't eat rabbits, even though they were meat eaters. So there was just this mentality about rabbit. Rabbit was really just dog food, which was great, because there was plenty of rabbits around and dog food was expensive. So now I have a different attitude to it, obviously. I am a meat eater now and I am really fussy with where my meat comes from. So wild rabbit is a brilliant way to be getting free food. Or if you have to pay someone else to hunt it for you, then you're paying for it. But at least you know where your food's coming from. And they're not injected with all these vaccinations and medications that need to be given to a lot of the livestock that's being raised on farms and obviously that's why I grow my own ducks and chickens put the majority of the herbs into the liquid Now I just leave it to slow cook on low until it falls off the bone. After a couple of hours, turn the rabbit. And after a few more hours, it's falling off the bone. It's just beautiful. So at this point, you can either shred all the meat up, taking all the bones out and then adding the shredded meat back to the liquid and having it as a soup. Or you can just take the meat out and then turn the liquid into a gravy, which is absolutely delicious served over the meat. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.